you guys so just making a quick video showing how to do a burnout in an automatic and showing that it can be done even in things like my v6 charger with just 250 horsepower so i'll explain and show how to do it with the rear wheel drive charger and i'll also explain how to do it if you have a front wheel drive car so let's get into it so there are a few quick tips to help make your burnout better so first of all the more power you have the easier it will be to burn out that's just a given and you might not be able to change that um, also the less sticky your tires are the easier it is to burn out and if you want to cheat a little bit, you can pour water in the tires. And also, make sure you look at the type of pavement or ground that you're on. Um, if it's a really rough, um, uneven pavement, it might not be the best um, burnout conditions. Okay, so let's continue. So the first thing you always want to do is turn off your traction control. What you're going to want to do is drive until you're like above 15 miles an hour. And then turn the key into the like start position as if you're about to start the car. And ESP, VAS, and the traction control lights all come on and now your traction control is fully disabled once again until you turn off the car. Okay, so number two is you just wanna put the car into drive. So step three is you wanna put your feet on the brakes and the gas at the same time. Um, this is called power braking or uh, basically a brake stand. Okay, so now to actually execute the burnout, you basically just want to hit the gas while braking just enough to get the wheel spinning and maintain your position. If the tires aren't spinning, you're on the brakes too hard and you need to slowly release the pedal a little bit to get them going. And basically, if you lift off ever so slightly on the brakes, the car should slowly move forward a little bit while smoking the tires, or you can stay in a fully stationary position while doing the burnout and just uh, really rev it up and get the tires moving. It might take a few tries, but there will be that balance that you'll find that um, perfectly between the braking and accelerating, and that will give you the perfect burnout. And if you do have a front wheel drive automatic, um, a burnout can still be done. Basically, what you want to do is turn off the traction control again, um, depending on which type of car you have. And then you want to set the emergency brake. And then you want to basically put the car into drive and hit the gas and you'll do your burnout. So yeah, that's how you do it for the front wheel drive cars. Okay, so here's some footage of my burnout. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoy some wicked burnouts.